Notre Dame fans, welcome back to Irish Turning Point News. Rosa here with... I'm Leonie Elmer. And I'm sure as you guys all saw Saturday, we beat Purdue with a score of 31-24. to Emily, do you want to tell us a little bit about the game? Yeah, well, um, we won, so that's it's always good when you get yeah. a win. Um, it wasn't the kind of pretty win that you like to see. We really struggled, especially in the defensive backfield. You saw Kavari Russell and Bennett Jackson, you know, just struggling with those passers. Yeah. Um, Jackson did have the pick six, so that's good. Um, and then uh, we really need, Kavari Russell really needs to focus on his pass coverage a little more. Um, but overall, we won, so yes. can't, can't bitch too much about that. <laughs> Um, also, we have uh, we have Jalon Smith, who I like to report yeah. on because he was a five-star, heavily recruited, highly, you know, he won the Buckus Award um, in high school, and uh, there's a lot of eyes on him. Um, he did really well. He's got four tackles logged for the season, but um, he really, you know, I don't think that his stat sheet really covers all of what he does yeah. because I think that when he, you know, he's such a good pass coverage guy that when quarterbacks see him covering a man, mm -hmm. they tend to shift the play to another one. Okay. One area that Jalen does need to watch out for is the flats. Now the flats are an area that sits 10 yards in from the line of scrimmage into the defensive backfield and 15 yards in at each side. Now a lot of times you'll see scat backs and also wide receivers run out and around the defensive line and go back into the defensive backfield through there. Um, Jalen is so good at rushing the passer that he kind of tends, and it's not just him, but everybody in Notre Dame is not really keeping an eye on those flats, and we're seeing a lot of guys get through there um, and into the secondary, which, as I mentioned earlier, needs a little work. So uh, keep an eye on the flats, but all in all, high marks for Jalon so far. My player of the game was Devaris Daniels, who had eight receptions for 167 yards and two touchdowns. He is a deep threat receiver, and a perfect example of that was his 82-yard touchdown pass from Tommy Reese where he tightrope down the line. Who is your player of the game? Well, Rose, my player of the game is going to be Cam McDaniels. Um, as you know, I've been harping for a while about uh, that power rush, and Cam really did a lot of that um, in the game against Purdue. Um, I saw him come back, run power right through the line, and so I was really happy with that. He's only averaging 4.3 yards per carry right now, which is a little under Amir Carlisle, mm -hmm. who's in the lead. But Carlisle has that scat bag. I mean, and he's very good. No, no disrespect to him. I mean, he, you know, he can move. He's got yeah. great movement, great center of gravity. Um, but he doesn't have that power body that we need to really push through and make contact like George's Todd Gurley. So I'm really happy to see Cam developing into that power back. And he's only a junior right now, so he does have another yeah. year of eligibility. And so I'm hoping that with development and playtime, he will develop mm -hmm. into that fullback power rusher. So that's why he's my player of the game. Okay, Rose, so tell us what we have on deck for next week. Yes. Saturday, Notre Dame plays an undefeated Michigan State team whose quarterback, Connor Cook, threw for over 200 yards and four touchdowns against Youngstown State. He is a pocket passer, and so we need the secondary to keep an eye on him. Uh, that's it, Irish fans. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I am Emily. Rose here. And please hit subscribe.